Hey everybody, welcome to the TLV channel. Um, my name is Lawrence Jenkins and today I'm going to show you a brief tutorial about using the invert plug-in. As you can see, the invert plug-in in conjunction with the mass generator. And in this order to uh, create, I think, a pretty cool effect. To me, it kind of resembles uh, like the like a blueprint, like a blueprint of a building. You know, you have the white outlines instead of the black outlines, so it could be very visible on the, the blue paper. So, uh, all right, let's 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 dig into it. As you can see in the montage, like it was pretty much just try to uh, give y'all an illustration of a, a photo or a video clip, but in this one, I use four photos. And then switching from this normal, looking calendar to like I said the blueprint type look by an inverting mass generator so let's backtrack a little bit and I can show you uh, what each effect really does for the picture or video clip that you use all right mass generator I click that off so obviously you can see starting with the original and going to this one that the black and white was swapped uh, after I uh, clicked on invert or put the invert plug in into my effects chain. So the black and white was swapped with invert. So the mass generator will take whatever you set it for, you know, when it comes to the highs and lows of a, a, of a image or a video. Um, and it will make those high make those highs and lows uh transparent so um i have it set for just the uh, the default settings and the invert that's the default setting the blend amount is set to a thousand uh for the default but when we click on the mass generator this is the default settings the high end is one the low end is zero the low out is zero the high out is one the invert uh, little check boxes unchecked and the type is luminous. That's the default settings for mass generator. So if I click on mass generator, that's going to take away all the black that's in the image and make it transparent. So, and I think, you know, if, if you're looking for something different and you're like, man, I don't really want to use a couch. Or if you have a motion background or something that you really want to see through like a, a, a calendar or or uh, and as you can see coming up I'm gonna show you but in the montage I use a picture of everyone's favorite little cartoon dog Snoopy and made him transparent and you know I think it could add a little more flair to your videos so let's get off of this one and let's go to the Snoopy portion of my little timeline and as you can see I have the same effect on Snoopy but let's just say, if you didn't really want uh, Snoopy's outline to be white, what if you still wanted to be black? And your and the uh, little motion background or static background is a lighter color, so black will still be visible on it. All right, let's do that. So I got invert mass generator, of course. But let's just say if you had another invert in the chain. And it would be the third part of the chain right after invert, mass generator, then another invert. If I click on it, currently right now it's disabled. If I click on this box, let's see what happens. It changes the white. So it inverts what you had already invert. It changes that and makes the outline black again. But you keep the transparency of the, you know, the innermost parts of the, of the picture you know in this case so let's let's go down and make this a lot more visible go back to the go down to the generated media edit generated media and you know whatever motion background you use in this case i use the uh, media generator the the vegas noise texture texture part of the uh media generator so and those if if you're not too familiar with uh, the media, the media generators at all, and especially the noise section. It's fun to go in there and you can do some really cool things and make some pretty good, I think, motion graphics uh, just free right, there, right within your program. But uh, let's change the black part 
to a lighter blue. And as you can see, it, it just looks like somebody just drew soup. You know, so I think that could add another effect. So let's go back to the original. Whoop. Didn't mean to click on that. Sorry, y'all. Let's go back to the original. And where do I got it at? Right there. So that's the original. And with invert, mass generator, then another invert. You went from this to this. And that pretty much wraps up the tutorial for the day. Just another, you know, I, I think a, a, a plug-in chain that can add a little more uh, uh, creativeness to your videos. You know, getting that blueprint look, you know, um, I think it's something that could, especially if you got a, 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 a animated background, uh, a graphic background in the uh, uh in your timeline and you really want to do something creative i think this uh tutorial will help you do that so pretty much like i say in all my videos click the subscribe button if you like it uh, if you learned anything from it hit the uh, thumbs up uh, and leave a comment you know if if you uh got anything from the video or you have any ideas of any other tutorials you would uh, want me to do but thank y'all and Hope y'all have a good day.